Five minutes to count down. Hello, welcome to the stream, just so you know. We are three minutes away. Emily, no, 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 What are you doing? And Shalina, why aren't you watching your hair? Your your hands covered in lipstick. I mean, sorry, nail polish. Wash it off right now. No hands. No, you have to do without. You can't put that stuff on skin.
No way. to the Steve Jobs Theater. As you can tell, today's going to be a very different kind of event. We've got some really exciting things to share with you, and we're going to have some fun along the way. So let's get going. For decades, Apple has been creating world-class hardware and world-class software. We've also been creating a growing collection of world-class services, and that is what today is all about. So what is a service? Well, if you look it up in the dictionary, you'll see that a service is defined as the action of helping or doing work for someone. At Apple, our services are actively working to help our customers get the most out of their products and to enrich their lives. Using iPhone as an example, let's take a look at our services in action. The iPhone you carry with you with its powerful hardware and powerful software allows you to capture the very best moments of your life. And our iCloud service helps you easily share those photos with loved ones and automatically makes your entire photo library available across all of your devices, anytime, anywhere, safe and protected. This is just one example of the benefits that come from the seamless integration hardware, software, and services. And this is something that Apple does better than anyone else. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we have a whole range of services, like iCloud, our service which keeps your contacts, calendar, notes, and as I just showed you, keeping your documents up to date across all of your devices. Siri is the most popular personal assistant in the world that helps you get things done just by asking. Did you teach and Apple Maps, the most used navigation system on iOS by far. Apple Pay is our service that lets you make secure purchases in stores and apps and on the web. And we offer communication services like messages and FaceTime so you can stay connected with people that you love. We provide services that help you locate your devices with Find My iPhone or simply know that your kids made it to school on time with Find My Friends. And then there's Apple Music and podcasts and books and the App Store and Apple News. Services that deliver incredible content and experiences directly to you whenever and wherever you are. Now, most of these services are free, while some of them are paid, 
offering very valuable content from talented creators, storytellers, and artists. We take the same approach of Apple with our services as we do our products. They have to be easy to use. They have an uncompromising attention to detail in design and engineering. They're designed to keep your personal information private and secure. And, and with our services, we do even more. They're curated by our expert editors. They're personalized just for you. And they're designed to be shared with your entire family. Now, today, we're excited to extend our services even further, making them even more entertaining, more useful, and more informative. So let's get started with Apple News. When we created Apple News over three years ago, we wanted to provide the best way to read the news on your iPhone and iPad. And we felt we could make a difference in the way that news is experienced and understood. A place where the news would come from trusted sources and be curated by experts. Now, this is a very different approach than others have taken. As Slate pointed out, by handpicking its publishers and stories, Apple News prioritizes a news source's reputation and the value of its content over the propensity of its headlines to garner clicks and likes. With news being so important to us, it's critical that it be trusted. With over 5 billion articles read each month, Apple News is now the number one news app. Unbelievable. In fact, Apple News has become an essential daily destination for millions of people. Our editors pick the top stories every day so you can stay on top of important news. You get a personalized news feed, delivering stories on topics that are most interesting to you, whether they come from publishers that you regularly read or from ones that uh, you are completely new to you. Now, when it comes to major events, our team of editors curates collections of the best stories from news and sports, entertainment, and so much more. Now, probably, like many of you, I love the feeling of being at the newsstand with all those beautiful and thought-provoking magazines covering so many topics. We want them all, but we might only be able to get one or maybe two. But what if we could have them all? Well, today, we're going to do just that. We're bringing magazines to Apple News. With amazing design and striking photography, in-depth journalism, magazines are iconic and a part of our culture. They follow and create the latest trends in fashion and style. They entertain. They educate us about the world we live in. They provide insights into science and technology. They go behind the scenes with exclusive interviews of our favorite artists. They feature the work of some of the world's best journalists. They cover the world of sport. They bring today's business, innovation, and technology into focus. And they tell stories that give us perspective. All of these magazines come to life in an all-new service that we call Apple News Plus. This is going to take Apple News to a whole new level. We've made a video about the power of journalism and its cultural impact, and I'd love to play it for you now.
my passion as a journalist has been to help readers better understand the moment that we're living in. I definitely go further to get a shot than my wife would like me to go. <laughs> I think fashion magazines play such a huge role. Magazines allowed me to kind of see people that looked more like me. You have to have more voices. Representation in front of the camera is important. The representation behind the camera is even more important. One of the functions of journalism in this moment is to offer a fuller picture of power. Who has it? Who doesn't have it? And what the costs of that have been. Photography can take us anywhere in that infinite world of stories and gives you an empathy that you could have never imagined. Great writing ideally helps people make sense of the world. Sports photography is my life. And that's what I've been inspired by. Freezing time. Part of my job is to shed light on stories that have been kept in the dark. The container for these stories is changing. If we have a place to go to that we can trust to hold all those stories, that is going to help. tell you more about Apple News Plus, I'd like to invite up Roger Rosner, Vice President of Applications. Roger? I'm thrilled to tell you about the new servers we're bringing to Apple News. Our goal for Apple News Plus was simple. We wanted to create the best magazine reading experience ever for a mobile device. Apple News Plus will bring you over 3,000 magazines across all, so, sorry, 300 magazines <laughs> across all sorts of topics like entertainment, fashion, news and politics. We've got great health magazines and great lifestyle magazines. We've got magazines for travelers, magazines for foodies, Magazines for gearheads. We've got magazines for just about every passion under the sun. And Apple News Plus is the only place where you will find all these magazines in a single package. <laughs> to show it to you, I'd like to invite up Wyatt Mitchell, Apple's Director of Design for Applications. Thank you, Roger. Let's take a look at the new Apple News Plus. It all starts with the same great Apple News free experience. And that means it's got top stories, it's got trending stories, and here are my personalized recommendations in full. With an Apple News Plus subscription, the experience gets even better. It means I get the latest magazines. With this design, we wanted to add the best of the magazine experience into the app. And that starts with the covers. We wanted to make them even more inviting and entrance into another world. So we created the live cover. Check this one out from National Geographic. It's an amazing aerial view. Get out of there, Auntie. It's an amazing aerial view of Sydney, Australia, and what looks like an incredible issue. So let's take a look. When I tap on a cover, I'm taken to the table of contents, where I can see all of the articles in the issue. I can jump to whichever one I'm interested in, like this. And here I land in a National Geographic article, beautifully designed, and full of amazing infographics. Apple News Plus makes the experience of diving into an issue even more fun and exciting. It's really like having National Geographic designed for my phone. 
And to get more, I can just tap on the table of contents, or I can browse the issue by simply swiping from article to article, like this. Get out of there, Nina! Issues, no matter where or when, right on my phone. Alright, let me get back to the today tab. There are more recommendations of articles and issues here, but the place to explore all magazines is the news plus tab. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Let me change. 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 Let me Sag ihm, Mami, was du gemacht hast. Mami, Pinky. Oh, no. Ja, sie hat wirklich ihre Nägel gemacht. Ich bin schockiert. Sie hat wirklich ihre Nägel gemacht. Ja? Mit dem Nailpolish? Ja, aber sie hat ihre Nägel gemacht. Und neue Dinge, wie dieses von Essence, mit Issa Rae. Her entire hand. Mommy, how many fights? Not yet. Huh? Not yet. Whatever you're talking about isn't loud or even on. Okay, what's going on? I just cleaned Emily Emily's hand. Nowhere else. We looked around. No, we looked. Emily didn't get it on anything except her hand. Somehow. No, he's not home. Or has he been? No, he wasn't home. Huh? What did you say? Nice. Uh, Emily, where's my fork? Right there. And I don't want you to touch. You're covered in nail polish remover. Or did you wash that off? Wash it off. Okay. I wash. I washed it off. All right. And, <laughs> anything else? What are you talking about? They were cooked for like 10 minutes. No, they don't. No, um, let me check. I don't know. It's a hollow noodle thing. It's a No, I can blow through air through it to the other end. And why the hell is everyone digging around in my noodle soup now? Apple doesn't know what you 
and Shalina. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go. Alright, bye. Alright. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye bye, Mom. Bye bye. Bye bye, Mommy. What? An offer like this before. Okay, if you were to subscribe to all of these individually, it will cost you over eight thousand dollars per year. So with Apple News Plus, you pay nine ninety nine. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's not hey. just for you. We thought this was so important. We decided to make this available to your entire family with family sharing at no extra charge. Each person in your family gets full access to that incredible catalog on their own devices with their own favorites and their own personal recommendations. It's an amazing value. Apple News Plus is available today. Just download today's updates of iOS and macOS and launch Apple News. And the first month is free. And in addition to launching in the U.S., I'm happy to say we're also bringing Apple News and Apple News Plus to Canada in both English and in French. And we're adding over 30 great Canadian magazines to Apple News Plus, along with the top newspaper in Canada, The Star. Mm -hmm. And later this year, we'll be bringing Apple News Plus to Australia, and we'll be coming to Europe, starting with the UK. So that's Apple News Plus, a premium subscription built right into Apple News that brings you the world's best publications all in one place. Built on the principles that guide all of our services, we are super oh my excited God. about this. We hope you like it. What? Thanks so much. This is really important to us. We believe in the power of journalism and the impact it can have on our lives. And we want to make a valuable contribution to the industry and to society as a whole. We think Apple News Plus is going to be great for customers and Look. great for publishers. Yeah. Now let's talk about Apple Pay. Ooh, I have that. See? We launched Apple Pay with here. a vision to replace the wallet, and people are absolutely loving it. Apple Pay is the simplest, most secure, and private way to pay. And its growth has been literally off the charts. In fact, we're on target to surpass 10 billion transactions this year. Ten, people have 10 billion phones? We're looking forward to a future yeah. where all payments are made. They can use it more than once. Now, retail acceptance of Apple Pay has already passed 70% in the United yeah, States, yeah, and it's even please. higher in many other countries, people. like Canada and the United Kingdom, and so many more which broadly accept Apple Pay. In Australia, we've achieved an amazing 99% acceptance. And we've been adding more and more countries. And by the end of this year, we expect that Apple Pay will be available in more than 40 countries. <laughs> Apple Pay has also made riding transit easier and more convenient than ever before. Every day, millions of customers in these cities use their iPhone or their Apple Watch to go quickly through the turnstiles and get on their way. And I'm excited to tell you that we're bringing Apple Pay to transit in major cities in the U.S., starting right here on the West Coast with Portland and rolling out in Chicago and New York City later this year. Yeah. 
So retail, transit apps, on the web, Apple Pay Cash, there's so many ways to use Apple Pay with its convenience, security, and privacy. And it's become the preferred way to pay for, for almost anything. But we want to take the Apple Pay experience even further. And we saw an opportunity to transform another fundamental method of payment, and that's the credit card. Now, with the success and momentum of Apple Pay, we've learned a lot about credit, a lot about credit cards. While we all need them, there are some things about the credit card experience that could be so much better, like simplifying applications, eliminating fees, lowering interest rates, offering clear and compelling rewards, and of course, providing the security and the privacy that people have come to expect for Apple Pay. By bringing together our hardware, software, and services, we're going to do all of this and so much more, changing the entire credit card experience. Today, we're introducing a brand new service, and we call it Apple Card. Apple Card was created by Apple and built on principles that we stand for, like simplicity and transparency and privacy. To tell you all about Apple Card, I'm very pleased to invite up Jennifer Bailey, Vice President of Apple Pay. Jennifer? Card, we have completely rethought the credit card. A new kind of card that takes advantage of everything iPhone offers, is designed for a healthier financial life, and sets a new level for privacy and security. Apple Card is designed to take advantage of the power of the iPhone. This means it can do all sorts of things that no other credit card can do. For starters, you don't have to wait days to get your card. Just sign up on your iPhone, and in just minutes, you get your Apple Card, and you can start using it right away. You can use it worldwide anywhere with Apple Pay, in apps, in stores, on the web, and your Apple Card will be available across all of your Apple devices. Apple Card is also always with you because it's in your iPhone, in the Wallet app. And the Wallet app has completely new capabilities. So you can see everything you need to know about your Apple Card, like what you spent, how much you spent, where, and when your payment is due. We've also made it really easy to get help. With Apple Card, if you have a question, just text us right from messages. Everything from getting details on a transaction to letting us know your new address. It's as easy as messaging a friend. taken on an important challenge with Apple Card to help everyone live a healthier financial life. It starts with having a better understanding of your spending so you can make smarter choices with your money. Many of you looking at your credit card statements today might recognize seeing transactions that look like this. Cryptic merchant names that are pretty hard to decipher. With Apple Card, we use machine learning and Apple Maps to transform this mess into names and locations that you'll recognize. <laughs> Apple Card also automatically organizes and totals your purchases, so you can see how much you've spent and exactly where you've spent it with Apple Maps. And you can keep track of your spending by categories, like food and drink, shopping, entertainment, and more, where each category is represented by its own color, like orange for food and drink. And Apple Card also shows you how your spending is trending, week over week or month over month. So you can decide in real time if you need to or want to change your spending. Next up, let's talk about rewards. Most rewards programs use points. With points, you're never quite sure how much they're worth or where or when you can use them. With Apple Card, we want you to get the most for your money. So every time you spend with Apple Card, you get cash back, 
and you get it every day. It's my favorite feature, and we call it Daily Cash. So when you're buying your morning coffee, shopping for groceries, and any time you pay using Apple Card, you get daily cash. Not a month from now, but every day. So every day you spend, cash is added to your Apple Cash Card, which is also in the Wallet app. And it's cash, like real cash. So you can do anything with it. Use it to pay down your balance, spend it wherever you use Apple Pay, or send it to friends using messages. In fact, every time you pay with your iPhone or Apple Watch, you'll get 2% of the purchase amount in daily cash. <laughs> and for purchases made directly from Apple, like from our Apple retail stores, from our App Store, or, or when you purchase services like Apple Music or, Music, or News Plus, you get 3% daily cash. <laughs> and the amount of daily cash that you can receive every day is unlimited. So that's daily cash. Every day, cash for you. How great is that? <laughs> Another area where we can make a really big impact in improving your financial health is helping you understand how much you owe and if you want to pay it back over time, how much it will cost you. This is how most cards show your payment options, with an emphasis on minimum payments, which cost you a fortune in interest and seem to be designed to keep you in debt. With Apple, Apple Card, our goal is to help you save on interest. So we start by making it easy to see a range of payment options. And because Apple Card calculates interest in real time, as you select different payment amounts, you can make a more informed payment decision, understanding the true cost. Another way to save on interest is to pay more often, say bi-weekly or weekly. So we've added the flexibility to schedule more frequent payments. And when we thought about a financially healthy credit card, all the fees and high interest rates that most banks charge are just not okay. So Apple Card does not have any fees, no late fees, no annual fees, no international fees, and no over limit fees. No fees even Card is to provide each customer with an interest rate that is among the lowest in the industry. Even if you miss a payment, we won't charge you a penalty rate like most banks do. Our goal is to make it easier for you to pay down the balance, not harder. To create a credit card, you need a bank. And to create a credit card as innovative as Apple Card, we need a bank that was willing to do things that had never been done in the industry before. So we partnered with Goldman Sachs as the issuing bank of Apple Card. As a newcomer to consumer financial services, Goldman was up for the challenge of doing something more bold and innovative. We're also excited to be working with MasterCard, who has been a fantastic partner on Apple Pay from the start. With MasterCard's global payment network, Apple Card will be accepted all over the world. designed Apple Card tool for privacy and security. Security is totally integrated throughout the hardware and software. When you get your Apple Card, a unique per device card number is created and stored safely in the secure element, a special security chip used by Apple Pay. Each payment includes a one-time dynamic security code, which protects your card number from being used without your authorization. And every purchase is authenticated with Touch ID or Face ID. With all of these security features, Apple Card is the more secure way to pay. And Apple Card 
is designed with your privacy in mind. We created a unique ar architecture for Apple Card, where Apple doesn't know what you bought, where you bought it, or how much you paid for it. So features like spend tracking and categorization all happen using on-device intelligence, not on Apple servers. And for Apple Card, Goldman Sachs will never share or sell your data to third parties for marketing or advertising. So that's Apple Card, designed for iPhone and a healthier financial life, and sets a new level for privacy and security. But that's not all. But that's not all. For those rare times when you happen to be somewhere where Apple Pay is not yet accepted, we designed something for that too. And you know, when we designed something, we designed it to be the best, and we'd like to show it to you now. Why don't you come look at it? This is Apple Card.